Any, oh, 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 I've spilled some already. Can we cut that? <laughs> These spiders back there. <laughs> and sirens. We are really braving every element today. Kersley, thanks for joining us. It's great to have you here. Now, you've got a few Group 1 placings under your belt. You're a young jockey, but there's a little bit more to you that maybe not everyone knows about. You're a bit of a foodie, a bit of a wine connoisseur. <laughs> I do certainly love my food, and being a jockey, it's not really... It's not a great combination. It's a fine line between having too many and sitting in the sauna. We've got a bit of a challenge for you later. We're going to put your wine-tasting skills to the test. Are you up for that? Yeah, uh, if it's free wine, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Racing is really obviously your love. Is there a bit of a pressure though when you have that last name? Do you feel that pressure at all? Yeah, look, there certainly was starting off. Um, obviously, a young kid in, in Perth with that name, sort of, it felt like there was a bit of weight on my shoulders. You know, ever since I've been in Melbourne, I'm just known for being myself. I'm not Fred Kersey's grandson. Just in behind them as they sweep into the stretch, the astrologist, then Bella Nipotina, Sabbath to excel. You're riding, you're on top of astrologists, you're probably feeling great. And I'm sorry to take you back to this. Yeah. You're on the home straight. <laughs> you dislocate your shoulder. Yeah. But you still come third. Yeah, look, I um, I thought I'd put that behind me. Sorry. I've just come back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh, it was it was when I hit the line and pulling up, I was I was in a world of pain. Let's talk about wine for a minute. We've had enough of the race. Where did your love of wine and this fine dining come from? I just think from the lack of food, being a jockey, when you can eat, you do want to eat nice. Those days where you're cutting weight, you can't really eat much, you're dry. You think about that nice chin chins or, or whatever it may be at the end of the day. All right. Well, I think it's time to put your skills of wine knowledge to the test. <laughs> so we've got a Pinot Noir, a Rosé, a Sauv Blanc. What do you want to start with? I'll definitely start with the white. OK, so you've got to pick what is the most expensive, what's the least expensive. This is it. Any oh, oh, I've spilt some already. Can we cut that? <laughs> They're a good pour. This is the most expensive. OK, all right. Let's go the next one now. Let's go rosé. We'll build no, up to I the No, I need bread. to know what, how I'm going. Oh, you want to know? I'm wrong. No, no. <laughs> cheating. How does this compare to the confidence if you were going into a race? I'd be a lot more confident. Okay. <laughs> I'll go with this being the dearest one. Pinot Noir. Here we go. I'm going with that as a more expensive one. Are you ready to hear this? I'm wrong. You have got all three correct. No, I haven't. You have. If anyone wants me, me to be a wine connoisseur <laughs> out there, I'm the man, all right? And you're making your return to riding this spring. Who are you most excited to be riding for? It's obviously a tough time to come back, um, but I'd like to think with the support of um, Team Hawks and Kamani, so I'd like to think I'll be able to get on something nice late into the spring. Any horses in particular? Um, look, my old friend, the astrologist, he ran around the other day. I'd like to think I could weasel my way back on him. Um, there is some unfinished business there, but, yeah, just looking forward to getting in, into the thick of it. All right, well, all the best. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Well done. 